it was a heavy feeling. That's the best way to describe it. It certainly wasn't major headaches and blinding migraines and that sort of thing. It was mostly a, like a dull ache um, around my ear. I, I thought it might have been an ear infection maybe. Um, but when the sight started going, that worried me more. And then I thought, well, perhaps that's why I'm getting this headache. It's because my sight's affected. It was definitely getting worse. And the consultant ophthalmist said, I think I'll send you for an MRI scan to exclude some things. But never did I imagine it was going to be what it turned out to be. An hour later, they actually rang me. So I was quite surprised that it was so quick. And the ophthalmist who had um, sent me for the scan, and she told me, you've got a brain tumour. For once in my life, I was stunned and lost for words. It was as if somebody had hit me in the, in the chest. I couldn't breathe. It was just such a shock. Um, and I was on my own when I was told this as well. Um, so I, for several minutes, I, I just sat there in utter disbelief. I just couldn't imagine it. You know, as far as I was concerned, you know, does that mean I'm going to be dead within a few weeks? You know, brain tumours are a bit of a taboo subject. They're not talked about an awful lot. The biopsy is called transphenoidal, and it's where they go up the nostril and take away a part of the tumour, the most accessible piece, bring it back down the nose and um, send it off for biopsy. And it usually takes two or three days for that to come back. And then it was almost 10 days later than they actually felt I was ready to have a, a, um, an operation called a craniotomy. But they couldn't take it all out. They had to leave residual because it was too dangerous to do it. The risk of paralysis, stroke, bleeding, um, all sorts of, of things could have happened because the tumour was actually wrapped around the carotid artery. After several months of them not knowing quite where to go with this, um, they knew I wouldn't need chemotherapy. It wasn't appropriate for that. They knew that I would have to have some radiotherapy to alter the DNA of the tumour and to stop it from regrowing. After the radiotherapy, I had my recent scan, which was... March, middle of middle to the end of March this year, was the same. It's still stable, it still is indolent, it hasn't changed anything at all since the beginning or the end of the radiotherapy. So obviously for now it's stable, it's it's done the, what it should have done and hopefully it will remain so. The legacy of having this brain tumour um, is that still on a daily basis I'm aware of it. Although it's been you know, there's only a bit of residual and I've had the radiotherapy. The radiotherapy and the operation have obviously left me with um, some complications. But at the end of the day, I'm back at work now, full time. Um, I managed to have a good social life. Um, I can drive again now, which is a huge bonus. So slowly, all that was taken away is now coming back. For more information, visit www.nhs.uk.